Hello and welcome to the first episode of City Bus Manager. We showcased that title first times at the next sim, but at the Gamescom we had a playable version and I want to showcase it to you guys. So City Bus Manager, it's all about managing your depot everywhere in the world. So we basically starting a new game, the gameplay is in German, we naming our company, selecting a country, Center Europe, Germany, and now we can enter a city where we could mainly choose everything besides China, so it could be France, UK, whatever, you name it basically. And we're gonna enter a city now, Paderborn, that's the city where I'm based, and I would say let's jump, uh, let's just hop into it and we're gonna see our soon in-game. So here we are, in-game on the map, and first of all we've got the real map of Paderborn. You could compare it to Google Maps, OpenStreetMap, you name it basically, and we could place our depot now anywhere on the map. So I would go for realistic styles this time. Um, you also see all the points of interest here basically if you scroll in, so shops, uh, yeah, and other points of interest basically. And we're gonna place our depot and it should be somewhere around here in real life i believe yeah that looks fine let's actually place it and we're gonna hop now into the tycoon part because first of all we need to set up our yeah bus management our bus depot and we're gonna need different buildings for that and it's all about scaling up with your depot and um, with your company basically first of all we're gonna build some streets keep in mind this game will be later on localized I played it in German, recorded the German fir video first, but going to give you an English overview about all the things. So we first gonna create a floor and that floor is used to connect different rooms together. You can connect room to room, but you can also do floors. On the right side you have a tutorial which guides you through your first gameplay and you're gonna need now to place a door and later on you need to place more doors to connect other rooms. So we first of all got a floor and we're gonna need an office. So an office is needed for our workers to actually be able to sit on a computer to plan their shifters and everything. So you need to have an office and it needs to be big enough for your employees later on. So let's find a desk. There is a desk with a computer. Perfect. Let's place it uh, maybe somewhere here and another one on the opposite side. And let's give our employees some chairs so they can sit down. I already created this room big enough so you actually don't need it as big as it's right now. But later on you're gonna need much more space if you scale up with up to 100 or even thousands employees as possible. So two more doors and we're gonna need our next room. So we're gonna need a kitchen because our employees will get hungry and we want to feed them else they're gonna be unhappy employees and not gonna work as good as we actually like them to do. So let's add some more doors and door to the office and then door to the hallway. Um, that's perfect. And the kitchen actually needs a drinking automat, so a bottle dispenser automat, as well as a fridge. So that's the basic things you're gonna need for your kitchen. Later on, you can scale up your kitchen and you could also place like, uh, yeah, object like plants, mirrors, or even uh, different pictures to get the happiness of your employees simply going up. Well, once you get some drinks, you're gonna need to go to the toilet and that's the next spot we are gonna build because you basically need to grind up your way first of all to get your um yeah your ground structure of your building going of your company going and these are some rooms we you're gonna build up at start basically once you play it first time you get the help of the tutorial and um, as we do on the right side it gives us a sm some small hints like the room needs to be at last three um, x3 tight speak and it needs to have a toilet as well as a um yeah yeah it actually just needs a toilet i believe so we also got our service center it's open from 8 to 12 and 14 to 18 um o'clock every day and we're gonna design our service center now because people are gonna come there and buy tickets or complain about our bus company so first of all we did bid a sign with the um yeah currently opening hours later on it will display the waiting time so if more people are coming in then you have employees to handle them you're gonna see that as well so also uh, let's replace it actually because it, it's a bit tight down there so let's place the chair and we can get our employee later on. So in that room, we actually get customers and customers need to be happy and we're gonna pl uh, plant some pl uh, plants here so they are more happy. And last but not least, 
we actually gonna need a really important thing for waiting customers we gonna need some comfortable chairs for them so our service center is ready as well and we gonna grind our step forward to a really important thing because it's a bus depot tycoon and it's everything about buses so we gonna build a, this our street further and gonna then later on place different objects to get our first bus going so we could place a bus parking spot here or you know well, actually let's just create some more streets so we have a better overview for later on to play, uh, place our buses and we can then place some parking spots where uh, buses can park we have difference of normal buses extra long buses and tiny buses and you're gonna see we can buy all these um, well actually in that menu so we have new buses used buses and buses you can sell as we are a newcomer we're gonna go for some new buses you're already seeing we got quite some different volvos man mercedes and so on they are all not um, licensed but they look alike i would say you also have the durability the information about how many gas could be transported sitting and actually standing so different information about the buses and you could also reduce the price you're offering to um give away for these buses so i bought some buses and they're gonna park outside so and later on once we actually hit the play button they're gonna join our company they're gonna be ready for us to use basically so next one we need a hallway actually this is like a room where our employees can get their um yeah their, their, their luggage and all switch their to their company clothes and all that things could be placed here because every employee need one of these lockers so let's place a few i actually just need like six for the start but more is better i always believe it's it's simply easier than to scale up and you don't need to care and we're gonna now hire some people we need bus drivers actually we need two at last so let's go through uh, these are trainees they don't look so fine uh, but he and well actually might be him yeah that, that looks good we need a mechanic because we're gonna build up our mechanic station quite soon to repair our buses uh, so someone well actually he's expensive but he's looking really really good uh, scientist because later on you're gonna science your way up to new buses uh, cleaning person and a service center employee is also needed so our employees arriving and we're gonna set up our base even more so really important thing what we're gonna need now is a fuel station because our buses can run out of fuel and it's all really really important to set up a fuel station and also a bus washing station because all this stuff is needed to keep your um, uh, people happy not even your employees but customers happy they want to go for a ride with a clean bus and they want to go for a ride in a well not male function bus so first of all as i said we're gonna need to refuel station and now the washing station where we can send our bus into cleaning so basically we more or less got everything besides the repair spot we're gonna set up that as well so we can send our bus if it actually get damaged or something like that you've seen we already bought some used buses they might not be in uh, in best conditions and um, so we need to repair them as well and we're gonna need um yeah lifting station for that as well so we got that one and we gonna need the storage for the uh, repair station where we're gonna store our items to repair the buses because you're gonna need to order these like brakes and engine and um, new oil and stuff like that all of that you're gonna need to order and keep your inventory going so you need to look at your buses at your routes later on but also on the map side but you also need to take care on the yeah on the tycoon part here which we're gonna see right now on the 3d part where you are gonna need to take care about your storage about your customers as well as your employees so you could order now different things like lights um turn lights wipers um cooling and all that stuff and that costs money you see it downstairs you could buy a router um, brakes and all that stuff but we're not needing it yet so let's jump into the map and let's get to the really important part so our depot is placed here 
And we're gonna create our first route, our first line in our beautiful Paderborn. So Paderborn is based on a circle and it would be smart to start at the train station here, I believe. So let's actually create a new line and yeah, go to new line and we could name it like, um, well, later on you can change the color as well, but we call it now H um, Hopbahnhof uh, roundabout. So actually we're gonna start at Hopbahnhof at the main train station and go through the inner circle of Paderborn um, where we're gonna yeah, go through a lot of lot of points of interest. We're gonna work also on you can adjusting these lines that get automatically drawn right now. And um, the pathfinding is already quite good, but later on we're gonna look that you can adjust them yourself. But once you've done a mistake, you can simply delete it. So you're seeing ghosts like ho uh, parking stations, bus stations. These are the real life parking stations of Pada uh, bus stations of Paderborn. You can use these. Or simply create custom ones as I did before, um, by not clicking on a parking on a bus stop, but by going through a single, uh, uh, yeah, creating an own custom one. So let's go through the inner city and let's move back to. Uh, let's actually, where are we gonna move? Maybe there? No, that looks stupid. He needs to go pass around, so that's a one-way route actually. Maybe to here and. Yeah, let's not call it the roundabout, it's a normal straight line uh, from the Hopbahnhof through the inner city and we're gonna get asked if we wanna create a, well, line backwards um, and we, yeah, we're not denying that. So you can set the frequency of your bus at different times. That's a really important thing if you wanna fine tune your things. You could do it in the easy way with the slider, but you also have advanced settings where you could set it for the holidays and for the weekend and all that stuff. But for now, that should be our first line and we're gonna assign a bus to our line. Oh, actually, um, wait, 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 wait. Um, that's, that's not a normal bus. So we actually need to construct a longer bus stop, a uh, bus parking spot here at our yeah, uh, our depot. Else the bus can't park here because we are just built some normal and we got a long bus. So let's actually, that's, that's a normal, no, that's a big one and let's park our first two buses and let's put them onto these lines you're already seeing if you hover them you also see the conditions um, as they are not that well and we now gonna hop onto the map and you're gonna see our bus going for its first routes so we've got some first task we need to deliver 10 people with our bus uh, oh no actually we need to finish 10 routes and deliver 50 people you also see the um how full the bus is on the top left corner so we might call for extra bus like you can get um line a uh, bus in between intervals and so on and now it's i'm on the following camera and you can follow the bus how many people it's taking how many people leaving the bus you also see like um how much delay it got because also traffic lights and all that stuff is simulated basically real traffic lights taking real effect on the different routes and so on um, everything that is simulated for any city besides China. So you can definitely do that for your home city. It might be a big city like Berlin or London or New York, or it might be the tiniest village on earth. All these are simulated, all these are in. So there's no, no, no to any city besides China. So next bus is also doing it route. And you see, we are gonna need now to uh, increase our yeah, stations, we need to uh, uh, get new lines, we need to scale up, earn money and all that stuff. So let's just jump back to the depot and let's see um, how our depot is looking. A few people are walking around because they don't, don't have anything to do, like our cleaning person, like our service um, person, because our service center is closed right now. But, well, I would say let's call it for today you've got a great overview about what's the first thing in bus depot simulator we're gonna refill our bus really really quick so you're gonna see how it's actually moving in that world and i would say next time we're gonna move forward um with a new city with a bigger depot it was just a small glance at the version so you have an idea what this simulator or this management game actually not a simulator is about i'm really really fascinated what you're gonna think about it Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe. Definitely let us know in the comments what you think about City Bus uh, Manager. 
I'm really, really loving it. I'm really looking forward to what city you guys are gonna do and also showcasing you the repaint function of that game because they are just stunning, I have to say. See you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.